Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm going to be doing a love reading. So I'm looking at your energies. I'm looking at your person's energies and then energies um, that you share, that both of you share. So this is a collective reading. I'm not tuning into one person's specific energies. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Just leave that there. Leave, leave it here because it might be a message for someone else. So collective. In the past, you were in the energy of Ace of Pentacles, strengthening bonds. Some change in the past, some very material, tangible, physical change. Oh, clarified by the Ace of Cups in reverse. So there was something tangible that you had, but there was no love. So, um, something that at some point felt like a gift, but there was nothing in it. No, no love, no emotions. Um, you might've been connected with um, someone who is very um, immature, um, who led with passion and um, so it was, a uh, an immature kind of shallow connection, maybe sexually based, maybe a desire and attraction was there, but after the sexual attraction and desire, um, wore off, this is someone who, who is unable, unwilling to, uh, have a deeper connection um yeah and it it feels like this really left you in a negative place um trying to stay in this connection with someone because you felt like this was a gift an offering but there's no love it's it's just a sexual um, connection. You might have been in this connection for a long time, um, feeling like you needed to stay. Um, maybe you were married. And so you, there's this, I, I feel like I need to stay. Um, and it feels like you, you limited who you were and matched this person in this energy and kind of it feels like you're a much deeper type of person that would want uh, a heart connection or uh, someone you can communicate with and share who you are be vulnerable be intimate and this person does not feel like someone who um, wants anything other than what they want a very immature type of person. So in present time, collective, you are in the energy of nurture, empress. The empress is very fertile, very abundant. It's taken a lot for the empress to get to where she is. I'm saying she, but there's no gender in tarot. It's just an embodiment of a certain uh, set of assets, qualities. So right now you're very abundant. You might be feeling imbalanced or working on realigning. You're extremely giving and generous with yourself feel like you you give a lot that might be part of um a kind of a tendency that you have is because you are 
uh, you have access to Empress energy, you are very giving because you are very abundant. And it feels like people take advantage of that. Right now you have a, a new, um, hmm. for some of you, it's a passion project, something new, something very inspiring that has come in or will come in or is coming in, depends on where you are in the timeline. Um, something very promising, something that you could create with. Feels like a new opportunity for growth that will um, create a lot of financial security, abundance creating that 10 of pentacles, that um, type of security where you could take care of not just yourself and be independent, but a family and take care of um, everybody in that family. Not that people need to be taken care of, but it creating, um, it feels like stability, incredible amounts of stability. Your higher self is in sacral chakra. So sacral chakra is down behind your belly button. It has to do with your manifestations. Like it literally is the seat of creative abilities, your creative chakra. And that it deals with your sexual um, organs and so it also has to do with desire. So what does your higher self want? Okay. You might be feeling challenged right now to manifest um, because you're feeling a bit defensive because in this past relationship, it feels like there's a part of you that's still grieving over how it there, it was not fulfilling. There was no love and what love there was might've been given to others and not to you. And so it feels like, um, you might be blocking yourself from receiving another relationship um, because of feeling defensive, not wanting the same type of energy, not wanting this person back. And um, it just feels like that heart might still be wounded. It feels like you loved this person, but you didn't get the love back. And it feels like you are afraid to, um, like the wounding in that heart space is still fresh enough, no matter how long ago this happened, it's still fresh enough that it makes you worried about opening up um, because it, it, I get this feeling like I can't take heartbreak right now. Um, it's, it's too much of a risk. That's what I'm getting. It feels like too much of a risk because there's already some wounds. Uh, your challenge right now is control. I'm getting that some of you might be trying to, um, with that defensiveness, trying to control who and what is allowed in your environment right now as a way to protect yourself. And it feels like the more you try to control things, the more it's slowing things down. So if you are frustrated because things are taking so long to happen, and you feel like um, things aren't changing quickly, then you might look at how can I give myself a feeling of stability and security? How can I 
feel okay with how things are and trust instead of trying to control my environment, trying to control situations, just trust that whatever happens is for your highest and greatest good. If there's something about the amount of trying to control and the defensiveness that's going on is yes, it might be keeping unwanted feelings or, or people out, but it's also keeping um, blessings out as well. All right, your person is in the past was in the energy of move. The lovers. So what was your person, your person in the past? Your person in the past is very courageous and confident, has a, had a zest for life and a joy, determination, someone who um, is accepting of their shadow, someone who's very abundant, someone who's very passionate, Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So we've got the lovers showing up. So your person in the past, it feels like they've got a loving connection. Um, wow. This is a wonderful energy. This, your person feels very confident. They've got, um, love and harmony and partnerships, passions equal values. All right, your person in present time is in the energy of master. Looks like your person is mastering their heart space. Working on the heart spaces for your personal, it's about you your individuality okay and your person has got it going on um your person is, is taking the reins they're they they're finding out who they are they're mastering who they are they've got this movement forward it feels like they're surprising everyone, even though they've got this wonderful background, um, their past energy is fantastic. And they're, it's even more powerful in their present energy. They're moving forward. They're determined. It feels like everybody's watching them glow up. They already started from a strong place and they're moving um, fast. They've got this hope about them. They've got a, a renewal. They have let so much go and they are uh, very intuitive. They've got a, a rejuvenation. Something about their energy is attracting a lot of attention. Wow, all right. Your person's higher self is in the energy of dedicated effort, eight of pentacles. So your person's higher self is, is saying, just focus on work, just keep working. Your person might be uh, living beyond their means right now. feels like they're um, unwilling to leave a, a situation. At times, your person stays in a situation way past its expiration date. And because they're afraid of loss and they avoid loss, uh, your person's challenge right now is awaiting results, seven of pentacles. So your person has put a lot of work into something that hasn't um, come to harvest yet. They're not sure if it'll bear fruits. 
And so it feels like the challenge that your person's going through right now is um, receiving, receiving the benefits of um, what they have, um, what they have planted, what they have watered, what they have put their efforts into feels very work related and they're, they haven't gotten the results yet. Your person's challenge is to leave. <laughs> this is again, it was in the higher self, their difficulty, they have a tough time leaving um, something that's unfulfilling. And it looks like their challenge is also, again, moving on, releasing what no longer serves them. If they're in a partnership, I don't see that they're in a partnership. I mean, in the past, it looks like they're in a partnership. I don't see a breakup anywhere around. Maybe um, they just have harmonious relationships. I'm not seeing... Maybe when we get to the shared energies, then I'll start seeing a, a connection here. Um, I get the feeling that your person knows who you are. I feel more of their energy. I see more of their energy coming in uh, into the past position. So it feels like someone from your past that um, you might have you might not have been connected with them for a while. Um, they might know this immature person in the past. Um, they might, there might be a connection there. That, that's where I'm seeing all the energy is going to. So you might know them from maybe they're a friend or somehow related to or connected with this person who you were connected with in the past. So a shared energy between you and your person is release. Both of you are letting go of what no longer serves you. You both are ending cycles. You're releasing um, being juggled. Maybe both of you were juggled by uh, former, oh, interesting, okay. Okay, I'm, I get this feeling that, um, Both of you have that shared energy of a lot going on and trying to balance things, but both of you are also in this very confused state space where you can't make a decision. It feels like the indecision is around this connection, like an inability to, um, like there's no right choice in this connection between the two of you. There's, um, okay. So if you were to connect with this person, there, it feels like that would have a lot of obstacles and a lot of difficulties if you were to connect. If you don't connect with this person, then there are also a lot of um, obstacles because it feels like there is an attraction here, um, some type of connection. And so because there's no uh, winning choice, it's, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't, that kind of feeling and so it feels like um 
both of you are just trying to wait both of you are just how do I, I there's no decision I it feels like it's putting you both in um can't can't make up your mind a very um stuck place another shared energy is nine of swords darkest fears feels like um ooh, i'm getting with this like um somebody is afraid of being rejected maybe both of you are maybe both of you i mean you collective are still wounded and afraid of um you know that that wounding in your heart from this past relationship is still tender and it feels like you're trying to control your environment so you you don't get wounded anymore and yet I feel like another fear that's coming up is, yeah, I'm afraid to be hurt or rejected by this person if I reached out to them, but me staying away from this person who feels like they could possibly be um, an answer to that, like they, it could be a very fulfilling relationship. Boy, so it's just, again, damned if I do, damned if I don't. It's, it's bringing up a lot of fears and anxiety. Um, I'm, I'm getting this feeling like, um, Like you both are interested, you both find each other. Um, like this shallow connection, um, it was really hard to communicate to someone who won't be open, won't be vulnerable. And it feels like the connection that you two had, I'm saying had because it doesn't feel like you're in communication with this person in present time. It feels like the connection that you had was um, someone you can really talk to, someone that you felt like you could feel that they felt very warm and open-hearted towards you. Your heart definitely opened around them. You felt very comfortable to be yourself and they were easy to talk to. And yeah, it just feels very comfortable and easy. And, and then maybe um, it feels like this person in your past was someone who led with desire. So led from that sacral chakra, led from brown chicken, brown cow. And that felt wonderful to be wanted and be desired. And maybe that's how you often led, you know, being desired um, felt good, being wanted. And it feels like this person led with uh, their heart space and their ability to think and communicate on a, a really wonderful level. And then there, it feels like you might have known this person for a really long time. And then um, it feels like you wanted to take this to another level. You wanted to take this to a more, like then open up to a more sexual connection. I feel that both sides think about each other. Like there's a, a psychic connection going on. Um, I feel like sometimes it feels really good to imagine 
communicating and being with this person. And then at other times it's very painful because it feels like the obstacles, there's something about whoever this is and whoever you are that makes it feel impossible or very difficult. That's, that's wild. All right, another shared energy is Four of Swords, just to breathe. So Four of Swords is about healing. Both of you are healing. Both of you feel um, isolated, left out in the cold, disconnected. There's a lot of insecurity that both of you are healing from. Some of it might be financial. Both of you are working on work and wanting to develop your skills. Both of you are very ambitious and work very diligently on whatever skill sets you have, whatever skill set they have. There's um, a focus there. That's another shared energy. Both it feels like um, if you did get together that you both would want to be with someone who understands that your work is very important. That um, I don't want to say it comes first, but it it's, feels like something that that you both enjoy what you do. You both enjoy your work and you want someone who understands that you're going to spend a lot of time and energy on, on work. Hmm. Feels like both you and your person have dealt with people who are overly emotional, who are cold hearted and cruel someone who's bitter, maybe someone who lies a lot. Hmm. So, oh, and so both of you, it looks like are healing from and working on healing and recuperating from, boy, there's someone, this is the first time I'm getting that there's someone else in, in the picture, but there's, there's some type of, I, I get that your ex, whoever you were with collective, this might be talking about them, someone who was, um, the, what I'm hearing is couldn't tell the truth if their life depended on it. Like this person might not even know the truth. They, they lie so much. Um, and a lot of cruelty around that with your person. Feels like this person might still be in your person's energy in present time. Um, the cold, hearted, cruel person. Looks like both of you really want to travel. You wanna make progress. You want to, um, you haven't really, you, you, it looks like both of you are, have wonderful ideas, great intentions, but have yet to implement them, have yet to reach out and put them into action. And both of you want the truth. Both of you want to communicate in a very honest and clear way. 
it feels like you've been holding back, like both of you have been holding back the truth about how you feel. And um, it takes a lot of mental energy away from, ooh, someone in this connection said that the two of you coming together, it's like a pipe dream. But that desire without just checking it out to see if it's even a possibility is creating a lot of restlessness and creating a lot of, um, it's taking up a lot of your, both of your mental energy. So, whew. all right, that is your love reading. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.